Standing by. Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here? So, just got done with the Sony E3 press conference and I gotta say it was pretty damn freaking epic. I mean, they had a lot of shit that just freaking surprised the crap out of me. I was not expecting half of this. Alright, so yeah, I was taking notes all throughout the conference. I got a pretty good sized list. And I was just trying to like jot this all down as I was watching it. Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started with the list. First one is, we got to see ourselves a new gameplay trailer of Destiny. Which is actually looking really freaking cool now. So basically, uh, everybody, so if you have the beta for it, you're going to be able to get access to it July 17th. And basically, this Thursday, throughout the weekend, you're going to be able to get your hands on the first uh, Alpha Destiny. I believe it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be part of the beta, but it's a different um, chunk of it. Uh, they didn't really show too much on it, but yeah, you'll be able to get a uh, hold of that this Thursday. All you have to do is go to uh, greatnessawaits.com slash destiny. So that'll I'll definitely be getting a hold of that. And let's see what else we got. And they're also getting a white PS4 bundle, which looks freaking sexy as hell. So yeah, basically it's going to be system... Uh, oh yeah, I believe it's actually a bundle. So it's going to be the white system, white DualShock 4 with Destiny. They didn't give any sort of a uh, clue as to how much it's going to cost, but looks pretty freaking sexy, I gotta admit. Alright, next we got a uh, new trailer for... Actually, it's trailer and gameplay. For the order 1886 which freaking it looks really fucking badass just with like because it actually showed him like this you see a zombie eating this dude and at first it's like okay he doesn't look too threatening i could probably take him out of the pistol then all of a sudden the zombie just starts freaking like mutating and growing into this giant werewolf looking dude chucks your guy off this freaking railing you have to try to hopefully scramble to get your freaking shotgun and everything and basically kind of ended right there. Well, it ended with him trying to attack you, basically him grabbing you by the neck, and the trailer ended. So, I gotta admit, that game is looking pretty fucking badass. Alright, so after that, we got a new trailer for, it looks like a newer indie game called Entwined. And basically, it's where, I guess, you're playing with those, these two like creatures. One's like a dragon, and the other one, I think they're both dragons or whatever, but basically they're... They're in love with each other, but they can never be together, that is what they said the story was, and basically how you control it is you're using both analog sticks to try to push them through a sequence of different steps and through different levels, so it looks really cool. And the surprise of that is it's actually available right now uh, for $9.99, so that's pretty cool. I was not expecting one of the whole Nintendo things, because I know they've done that before, but that's pretty badass. So yeah, go ahead, buy it right now. I was like, oh shit, that's fucking awesome. Alright, so next we got new Infamous Second Son First Light trailer. Basically, you get to play as Fetch in that trailer, and it's going to be available August 2014. And basically what it is, so it's a whole new uh, DLC side part. I'm assuming it's taking place a little bit before the main game. As from what I can tell, it's going to give you a bit more backstory on her. And the cool part is is you don't even have to own Infamous Second Son to be able to play this DLC. You can actually just buy it by itself. But if you actually have the game, then you get even more content with it. So that's definitely going to be pretty freaking sick. All right, let's see what else we got on my list. All right, another... This one freaking... I was like, oh, frick! All right, so we got the new Little Big Planet 3. We got new... They actually showed like full on gameplay. I was like, holy shit. I was, n I had no freaking clue with this. So, we actually get four different characters. Of course, you get Sackboy. Of course, I forgot all the names. So, I was just like flipping my shit when I was watching this. But one's like a, this dog Sackboy character, which he can run pretty freaking fast. Um, he can basically sit there and bounce off walls to get to different areas. The second one. He's like this bigger dude. He's pretty um, chunky and like large, but he's also super strong. He's able to sit there and like push bigger blocks that you normally wouldn't be able to push out of the way and help you get through certain areas and everything. And what was it? So the next one is basically, yeah, he can also basically shrink down in size to basically get through small areas that get through, like basically open up different areas for you. So the no another one is basically the, I forgot what the heck the bird, it was a, basically this bird like Sackbird or whatever, but he can basically fly to different areas, 
help you out if somebody if you're doing four player and somebody falls off. You can basically fly down, grab them, get them back up with the rest of your teammates. And you also have like this, showed out this new little air gun, which you can use to basically kind of push doors open and all that. So it looks really freaking cool. I am, I was like freaking ecstatic for the hear it. I was like, oh shit. Like I had, I went to go look at uh, IGN to go find a press conference and I started seeing that and I was like, what the fuck? It's white PS4. What the fuck? I was like, okay, no, I'm not looking at IGN. I got to go start watching this. All right, so let's see here. What else we got? And next, oh yeah, so a little bit of Planet Three is coming in November, so that's gonna be freaking awesome. And we got a new, uh, what was it trailer for a game called Bloodborne, which that's uh, I believe it was like a new zombie-looking one. Don't know a ton about it, but it looks pretty pre uh, pretty awesome. That one's coming to 2015. No idea when in 2015, but it's coming. All right, next one was was pretty awesome. We got some new game. We actually got gameplay of Far Cry 4, and then basically you can, uh, which another cool, a really cool feature of this game is the fact that you can invite your PSN friends to join you, even if they don't even own the game. I was like, what the freak? That that's freaking badass. And the game, the game graphics look freaking amazing, and a lot of the gameplay just looks freaking sick. So I don't know. I've kind of never really played a lot of the other Far Cry ones. I kind of like peeked in played like a little tiny bit but I think with this one I'm definitely gonna get in on that all right so let's see next we got Dead Island 2 so that one I was that one also took me by surprise because it started off this trailer like this guy sitting there jogging and like he kind of like covers up like the same like oh this looks like he's infected what the heck so he's sitting there jogging freaking jamming out to his beats and then freaking like Right behind him, you're seeing all these people get attacked and mauled by zombies, all this destruction. And then while he's running, he slowly starts turning into a zombie himself. And then basically at the very end of the trailer, which cracked me up, is freaking this guy, like, grabbed the leg of the guy who was jogging. He's like, whoa, look at these shoes. He's like, oh, snap, they're the same size. And the funny part is it was voiced. They didn't say it was Jack Black, but I can tell from the freaking voice that Jack Black's does the voice for one of the characters in the game. So that just cracked me up. I was like, okay, that's freaking great. All right, what else do we got? Oh, yeah, so we got Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition coming to PlayStation 4, and it actually has The Last of Us content in it. So basically you're going to be able to be fighting some of the clickers and everything and basically all sorts of the zombies from The Last of Us in that game. So that's... That's what, I don't know. I have it for the PC. I may debate on it. I'll have to honestly see. All right. So basically, oh yeah, and also Battlefield Hardline Beta available now for uh, for PlayStation. And then yeah, we also had a new gameplay trailer of it. So that another one I'm gonna have to get my hands on. I'm assuming it'll probably be up once the PlayStation Store updates tomorrow. All right. So we got a new uh, gameplay trailer. For Magicka 2, which that one also surprised me, especially because it was coming to PS4. So I was like, oh, snap. All right, because that game was freaking fun as shit. And there's another one. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the series, but a lot of people seem like they were pretty happy with it, which was Grim Fandango Remaster for the PlayStation 4. And then what was it? Oh, yeah, so they also have exclusive debuts for the PS4. There was Broforce, Titan Souls, Not a Hero, Hotline Miami 2 and the Talos Principle. So that those are a lot of cool, um, cool looking indies. Actually, Bro Force kind of looks funny as shit. So I'm gonna have to definitely check that one out at some point. All right, so we had another one. This one actually got me excited because they had said, "Oh, we got a new game from Suda 51." I was like, "Oh shit!" Because they've made so many freaking games I love. Ever ever since uh, was it No More Heroes 1, 2? Uh, was it? Yeah, they had a ton of their games. I'm trying to recall, but I'm just like, ah, just got them watching it. Super excited. But yeah, so super, so their new game is going to be called Let It Die. I don't know too much what it's about. All I know is you're beating the shit out of freaking people. And so yeah, I don't know. Like, they didn't really show too much of the story, but all I know if it's by Suda51, it's going to be freaking balls crazy. All right, so then we got a new game from the creators of Journey called Abzu, which... I don't know. See, it seems cool. As far as they show, it's just kind of like you're kind of swimming through the ocean, avoiding these um, stissy creatures and everything. But uh, besides that, I'm just like, I don't know. Okay. 
All right, let's see. Blah blah blah. Sorry. Okay, so there's one called No Man's Sky, which my note for that was dinosaurs. So basically, that one seems really cool because the first part they showed you it on is basically this whole wilderness area. I don't know, it looks all freaking like neo colors and everything, but you're just like on this um, planet with all these freaking dinosaurs around. You find the spaceship and you're actually able to just like sh fly straight up into the sky, and then go straight into outer space. And I guess the cool part with that is every time, even uh, you can have multiple people start a new game on that, and each person is going to have a different gameplay experience. Just because the fact that every time you start a new game, it's not starting you at the same um, on the same planet. It's going to start you on a different planet. So that sounds really cool. Sounds like it has a lot of replayability. So that's going to be freaking awesome. Alright, and of course they showed a little bit of Project Morpheus. They're actually going to have some games uh, playable on the floor at E3. So another one that I was actually pretty happy about, I think this is pretty awesome, is the YouTube app for the PS4. So many of you maybe think, oh, whatever, I can watch YouTube on PS4. Oh well, but the cool, the uh, badass part I loved about this is the fact that you can directly upload your videos that you capture on your PS4 straight to YouTube so that I was like fuck that is pretty damn badass all right and for those of you who thought ah playroom or whatever it's dead no playrooms getting new content looks like they're adding new stuff uh, it looks like I saw some stuff with little big planet and journey content coming for it so that's pretty fucking awesome all right so for July 31st we're gonna be getting the PlayStation now open beta and they're going to have over a hundred games to play. So that's, and then also uh, you'll be, uh, for people who own Sony TVs, you'll be able to hook up a DualShock 4 to the Sony TVs and be able to play them. So that's pretty fucking sick. And it goes for PS Vita 2. Also they showed uh, Tales from Borderlands is also coming to the Vita too. I was not expecting that one. Alright, what else we got? Oh yeah, the PS Vita TV, pretty much. Now at least confirmed that it is going to be here in America. It's going to be costing uh, $99. Or is uh, another bundle, I think it's 130 or so, but you get a... Uh, was it an 8 gig memory card, a DualShock 3 controller, and a digital copy of the LEGO Movie video game. They didn't exactly re say a specific release date, so I'm like, okay, oh, that might be cool. Alright, so next one is pretty freaking badass. We got new gameplay. Uh, footage for Mortal Kombat X, which looks fucking brutal, and the graphics on that look pretty damn amazing. So I'm pretty freaking psyched for that. All right, next we got an actual because I remember last E3 they were talking about how they're going to be bringing uh, like media experience to the PlayStation. So one of us, actually, this one's going to be in theaters. It's going to be the Ratchet and Clank movie and stuff. So that one. I was actually uh, pretty surprised and everything. Like apparently they're going to be doing a remaster, reimagining of the original first Ratchet and Clank. So that's going to be freaking sick. We also got uh, the Last of Us remastered is going to be released on July 29th, and we also got a pretty freaking badass new trailer for Metal Gear Solid 5. All right, so this next one fucking blew me away by surprise. I was hoping they'd one day do it, but I. Thought it wouldn't be to way later on. Grand Theft Auto V on PS4. I was just like, holy fucking shit. So yeah, that's finally coming. And the w one part that actually really surprised me is you're going to actually be able to transfer your save data from 360 to PS4. I was like, seriously? Okay, that's fucking sick. So I'm freaking excited for that. I, God, I can't wait to see that freaking game on next gen because... The game looked ridiculously good just on a 360, let alone being able to play this on PlayStation 4. All right, next one, which is pretty awesome, we got a new uh, the, a new gameplay footage from the Batman Arkham Knight, which that oh my god, that game looks fucking amazing. The graphics look freaking ridiculous. The show, first thing it shows you off is like literally diving off the skyscraper and basically like going straight down full speed, and then you basically use your wings. Then basically go and get into your Batmobile, you drive around the city, just go straight up these steps, freaking taking out the railing. And then it actually goes as far as show combat footage of you in the Batmobile. So it's like, oh fuck, this is ridiculous. So yeah, that is for sure uh, coming 
Hold on, let me find my spots. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming 2015. Uh, was it? Oh, I think I, okay. So yeah, so uh, basically, there is also going to be uh, exclusive Scarecrow content uh, only for PlayStation 4. Let Okay, I, I think stupid autocorrects. It's something to Bambi Let Combat. I'm not sure what the... Oh, it's probably... Oh, I know. That was supposed to be Batmobile Combat. Stupid phone. All right. And let's see. For the last one, we got is a story trailer for Uncharted 4. I was like, fuck, yes. I was hoping to see this. So this game's going to be called Uncharted 4 A Thief's Tale. And basically, it's going to be, from what it looks like, that's going to be the last one. All right, and that one, at least now we know, it is coming in 2015. I wanted it to come this year, but I was highly doubtful. I did not think it was going to come this year at all. All right, so yeah, that was it for the Sony conference. I got to say that. They blew me away last year, and they did freaking impress the shit out of me this year. The only thing I'm disappointed in is the fact that we didn't see any sort of footage for... Kingdom Hearts 3 or Final Fantasy 15 and another one that really disappointed me is the fact that we didn't see shit or even a single word from The Last Guardian because that's a game that was rumored before E3 that it was cancelled but then they go oh no no it's in full development and I was like then why don't you show at least mention it at E3 say something Ah. All right, but yeah, besides that, it was a freaking great conference. Like last year, they blew me away again. And for all, for all the games I just mentioned, I will be, I'm going to try, they should hopefully be up. I'm going to try to go ahead and link as many of the trailers for the games I mentioned as I can, or at least as many as I can find. So that way you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourselves, because they are freaking badass. All right, and as for the rest of the other conferences, um... I'll try to get the Xbox at some point. I did not. My night was basically taken up by watching Sony's. And I know tomorrow I'm going to be covering Nintendo. Or basically by the time this is up, it'll probably be t um, Tuesday. But yeah, I'm going to be covering Nintendo for sure. And I guess pretty much... Unfortunately, Microsoft's going to be my last one. But they did have some really cool stuff. Alright, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later, and be sure to enjoy all the E3 goodness. You can find it everywhere on YouTube or IGN. I know, random plug, blah. Alright, anyways, I'll catch you guys later.